Right, I'm at Grange Park Junior School for the opening of their wildlife garden. Just introduce yourself and tell us what this is all about. I'm Richard Pard, project manager from Groundwork at Thames Valley. And this is all about getting children in touch with nature and discovering nature through discovering the garden and enhancing it in the future as well, so community groups are involved as well. How did the garden come about? The garden uh, came about through cluster projects. Uh, it's funded by the cluster, Hillingdon Cluster, and also additional funding by Groundwork Thames Valley. So there's the schools coming together? Yeah, schools coming together. There's 12 schools that have access this wildlife garden um, throughout the whole of the Hayes area in Hillingdon. What's in the garden? Oh, it's divided into many different zones. We've got wild orchards, pond, wetland areas, pizza gardens, and activity zones and open woodlands. And all those ideas came from the children for a competition. What will the children get out of this? Oh, huge amounts. Um, it will address the, the new curriculum, Key Stage 2 curriculum, Key Stage 3 curriculum. Um, it's very cross-curricular in terms of its themes, creative, enterprise, sustainability. It's all in here, it's all packed in here. It's the future learning, hopefully. But what the heck is a pizza garden? Pizza garden? <laughs> Ingredients that go in a pizza. Herbs and spices that you put in a pizza are grown in a pizza garden. And you're even trying olive trees? We're trying olive trees <laughs> and we're going to build a pizza oven. So when the children visit, they can have pizzas at lunchtime. This is... An ambitious project, isn't it? <laughs> Just introduce yourself and, and talk about the, the construction you put up in the middle of the garden. Um, I'm, I'm Mike Shadbolt, I'm a landscape architect and contract, contractor. And I work closely with Groundwork Thames Valley quite often in, in schools. Um, and I brought in to build the, the central structure for the, for the garden as a, as a focal point and a place to. Um, to conduct all the, the lessons. How have you constructed it? What, um, what of? Well, the main frame is from sweet chestnut and oak, which are locally grown in the Chilterns, um, from the from sustainable woodlands in the Chilterns. Um, so we designed a main frame, particularly one without a central pole that kind of gets in the way of activities. We wanted to make a big space inside. And the roof is made from um, reclaimed plywood, um, in a sort of interesting kind of sloping shape so that it will drain um, drain into one point to drain the water into the pond to keep the pond topped up. Um, the idea is in the long term to put a living roof on top of the plywood um, with a pond liner and, and um, soil trapped on the, on the top there for growing wildflowers and sedums. Um, so the whole thing will, will sort of develop a green feel over the top. Um, should look quite impressive. I think it's a terrific design. I think it'll be replicated elsewhere as well. This is the garden itself. It's quite a sizable area. It was dense undergrowth and a site that was possibly going to be used for developments that aren't happening now. So it's the ideal use for this site on on this school. I think it's not just for the schools, for the whole community. So I think. It would be a terrific asset. I think the site was a redundant swimming pool. That's right. So it's yeah. full of old lumps of concrete yeah. and things. Yeah. Quite yeah. a challenge for yeah. the <laughs>